Hey there everyone, in this week's episode, or this week's video anyway, I'd like to talk about some cheaper alternatives to rafts. They are still rafts, they are still good rafts, but they're a little cheaper than some of the other brands out there, uh, namely like NRS, Air, Sotar, Moravia. Those are all good boats, but as you know, and you know as, you, as I'm probably going to tell you, they are expensive boats, um, especially Moravia's, um, really expensive boat that. Sotar can be expensive, NRS, you know, Six to seven thousand dollars for a 16 foot boat, you know, that is pretty expensive. And of course, the airs, you know, I'm getting a little 10 foot boat in April and it's priced right around three thousand dollars for a 10 foot, 10 and a half foot boat. So, you know, that's pretty expensive. Uh, build quality is good on all of them, but I want to talk about some cheaper alternatives to these boats uh, to help you guys get out there. Um, maybe to help some people decide who are looking at buying a first draft or their first draft anyway. All three of these manufacturers I'm going to talk about today, they make quality boats and they're good boats. I've used at least two of the, bo two of the manufacturers boats. Um, one of them I haven't used, although I've seen it out a few times. And let's just go ahead and get into it right now. The first company I'd like to talk about is Rocky Mountain Rafts. You probably know about them already. They are exploding everywhere right now. They're getting some really good boats out there, some really good um, kind of popularity and stuff going on. And that's kind of due to how cost friendly they are as a kind of to purchase their boats. Uh, the material they use is a really good material. It's a 2000 denier PVC, which is an absolute great material. It's thick, it'll take abuse. You could run it over rocks. You could, you could do your best to puncture it. It's a really good material. And, I, and the little little boat I've got right now, a little nine foot, is a Rocky Mountain Raft boat. It's a little Cloud Nine. It's a really awesome boat. I've pulled it over some trees, run it through some rocks, and it's held together. I don't have a single scratch on that boat just yet. So good thing for those boats. And like I said, great boat company. Another thing that Rocky Mountain Rafts is doing at the moment, at least on their website anyway, is they have a payment system where we pay in four equal amounts instead of paying the entire amount up front you could pay it out you could kind of divvy it out as uh, much as you want to help you kind of get out there on the river you know purchase your first boat even if it's not your first boat and you don't you, you just don't have that much money to spend on boats you can use this use this way of doing four equal payments or dividing it up into payments and you know it's just a little easier to get boats that way the second crop of boats I like to talk about today is actually made by Air, but they're actually the tributary series from Air. And they are also made out of 2000 denier PVC, same as the Rocky Mountain Raft boats. And sadly, they only really come in one pattern, um, kind of a blue and a gray pattern scheme to them. But they are kind of Air's answer to kind of help people get out there on the rivers more. I know some people kind of bash the tributary boats, but in the time I've spent with them, which was years ago, it was, it, they were fine boats. I mean, they, in my experience using them, they were a little kind of sticky and tacky when stacking on top of other boats. But other than that, I thought they were great boats. And going back to this past year when they actually swapped the valves out, they made a, a valve change. So the valves actually sit a little more flush against the boat. I think that's a great kind of upgrade to the boat. And like I said before, it's it kind of errors equivalent to helping people get out there on the river. And that's awesome. I see tributary boats out there a lot and you know, they're kind of harder to see out there, but they do go out there. I actually know a couple people here in town the, where I live anyway, that's got some tributary boats and they're, they, they're good boats, it's definitely good boats. They're constructed similar to how Air constructs most of their boats with a kind of a, a stitch in floor. So if the floor ever punctures on you, you could just order a new floor and go on from there. So that's kind of cool, the Air's using their build quality but trying to keep it a little bit more cost friendly so people can get out there on the river some more. The last group of boats I want to talk about today are actually the Star Boats. Um, if you don't know, Star is actually currently owned by NRS, which is a nice um, way for NRS to get more boats out there and kind of help um, both NRS and Star kind of in their reasons for being out there or kind of their um, statements to help get more people out on the river. Um, I know a lot of people don't like the, the neoprene material that NRS makes their boats out of. Um, I talked to a lot of people about it. They don't like the equipment for one reason or the other. Uh, I'm kind of partial to it. I actually grew up paddling NRS boats, so I kind of like the material myself, but you know, it's a different story. The Star Boats, like all the other boats I'm talking about in this video, are made out of a 2000 denier PVC, which is a little thicker um, than most denier. 
If you're familiar with the airboats, uh, 2000 denier is a little, quite a bit thicker than, than the airboats are. The airboat is actually constructed out of 1650 denier weave, so that's a little smaller. Uh, and if you don't understand any of that, just know that the 2000 is thicker. Going back to a little bit of history about Star and NRS. Uh, when NRS purchased Star, they actually changed a few of the manufacturing steps that Star was doing before. Um, NRS, like I said, is using that 2000 denier PVC now, which is not the original material that star wraps are made out of, but that's what NRS decided to change it to. They did make a few other changes to some of the other wraps um, that, NRS, that star has. Namely, they're actually putting a drop stitch floor into the raft. The floor system in the star rafts are very similar to the floor system in the Outlaw series from NRS, where it's a drop stitch, and it's just kind of put in there with uh, plastic plastic sliders. I don't remember the name of the sliders, but they're in there. They can be a little difficult to kind of remove or put back in, but it's it's kind of nice to see that NRS is thinking about trying to, you know, make these boats a bit more easy to work on sometimes. Um, I know it sucks when you puncture a floor on a, a boat that doesn't have it stitched in or kind of like that. So you actually have to go and cut out the entire floor, order a new floor, glue it back in, and you know, that is a little labor intensive and can take a long time to do so. So using this drop stitch method, it's a little easier, it's a little cheaper sometimes. And a lot of the star boats, if you travel internationally with them, you could actually take the floor out, kind of wrap it up by itself, and you know, keep that um, poundage under 50 pounds with some of the boats, so that's kind of nice to see. If you guys have any other questions or comments about these boats, leave them in the comments section below. Feel free to hit that thumbs up button if you liked the video. If you didn't like the video, give me a thumbs down. Also kind of you know, tell me what I needed to work on a little bit. I'd love to have the criticism coming back to me. Last thing, if you guys want to, feel free to subscribe to my channel. It helped me out a lot and I will talk to you guys in the next video.